You know, walking in the incredible damage from that tornado and talking with those who survived, you, you get this sense of this moment of thankfulness that's tempered with the weight of knowing that the very same tornado claimed other people's lives. And in some cases, those people live right next door or across the street. Well, tonight, a story of gratitude from a family who did survive with that storm bearing down on them. Trees are down everywhere at the Hughley house, on cars, in the yard. By the time we got in there, boom. And on the house. Like we were just riding on a roller coaster. You heard, glass break. you heard the glass shattering? What what went through your mind at that time? What'd you say to your mom? I was scared. It's likely 15 minutes the Hughleys will never forget. Well, I was looking out the back door, and, and then I just seen the dog cloud come, and then I ran away from the back door. And I went into the I went into the kitchen to look out the kitchen window, right before the tree uh, fell. You don't see it from this angle on the outside, but inside it's hard to miss. How much time now did you have to run to get? Five to minutes. Train. We ran back over here. We was in this closet, laying right there on the floor, and the top, the ceiling was coming in on top of us right here. Mm -hmm. We just blessed our tear to know that. Those that make it, and we woke up to see another day. It just brings tears to my eyes, because we could have been. Mm -hmm. When you see how close this was to where you were, though, look at that. I mean, you were in we were just right a wall behind, away. Just a wall. We just, ble I mean, I, that's why I can't stop tearing up, because I'm saying, Lord, that tree could have laid on top of us, but he protected us. I said, Lord, I thank you for I grace and that mercy. You know, that's the only somebody could have did it. Who? God. Oh. <laughs> and for that, five year old Ladena, her mom Brenda, and father Ronnie are thankful. I just, you know, just said, Lord, him mercy. And he did protect her. Uh, all this other stuff, just material thing. But, you know, I, I thank God for my family that we're still here. There are men that didn't make it, but we made it. Thank God for that. Now, Ronnie Hughley told me it hasn't quite settled in yet. Although they will be in a hotel until this Saturday, they're still trying to find a place to stay. CBS 42, along with our parent company, Next Star Media Group, the Salvation Army of Greater Birmingham, and the Alabama Broadcasters Association are all partnering to help raise money for families like theirs to help all of the victims begin to rebuild and recover. Next Star stations across Alabama are joining us as part of the Alabama Broadcasters Association's Together for Alabama campaign. You can donate right now online or by calling the Salvation Army at this number, 800 725 2769.